Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we are making the Marta Hitachi CQ311. Now, Marta, that stands for Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority from Atlanta, Georgia, here in the United States on the East Coast. First time I'm building a train from there, and uh, this the CQ311, here's what it looks like. It comes in either two car train sets or six car train sets. There's no four car train sets, so it's just like either a really short train or a really long one. And as you can see, it has this nice stripe across the side, and in real life, there's actually like a blue part. But in this version of Minecraft, there is no blue signs, but I know in the future, like 1.16, you'll have access to this uh, bluish sign. Uh, but anyways, for the CQ311, uh, there's actually another train for Marta. It's uh, the CQ310. It's virtually identical to this one. So I guess you can build this and then you can call it whatever you want. But in real life, the way you can tell the difference is that the Hitachi one has like a line in the middle. While the Franco-Belgian society one that has like a smooth surface on top. But pretty much from that, that's exactly the same thing and by the way if you use instagram i did a post on this uh, before so you can see the builds before i posted them and actually like did a redesign originally i had this uh, much higher but then people were saying it was squash so i decided to fix the design but anyways let's get started first we're going to place a dark oak slab it's going to be hovering above the ground in the middle of the tracks behind it we'll add in uh, three nether brick slabs and then we'll make this back one so it's going to be three blocks wide like so. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate two blocks wide on the side here, both sides. And for the wheels, uh, we're going to take out gray terracotta, add a pair here. Skip two blocks, add another pair. And then in the middle, we'll add in nether brick slabs all the way across. Nether brick walls on the side with dark oak fence gates, open them up. And we can also add in a dark oak button on the side of the wheels. Same thing on the other side. All right, and open that up. Now for this top section, we're going to add in another brick slab with a smooth stone slab to the side of it. Then we'll add in an upside down uh, and a site stairs on the corners. Like so. Then on top, we'll add in um, this black concrete, two blocks wide. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab at the top. And then two more black concretes. We're also going to fill in the inside of this with black concrete, three blocks wide like that. All right. Then we'll add in a gray concrete, three blocks wide. And we're going to make it so it is 32 blocks long, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. All right. After we do in thirty-two, we're gonna make it three blocks wide. All right. After we fill that in, let's go to the back, and we'll add in another brick slab here. We're gonna make it three blocks long. Then we'll add in dark oak fence gates on the sides two blocks long and then on top we'll add in three blocks wide nether brick um, slabs then the sides we'll add three blocks tall of this uh, nether brick wall and another brick slab across the top section then we'll work here on the side add in a polish and a side stairs on both sides like so all right next we'll add in stone brick block four blocks long here and then we'll add in two uh, two anisite walls, and then um, stone brick block right there. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. And then we're gonna to go to the front area, and we're gonna add three blocks long stone brick blocks, then two anisite walls, and then stone brick right there. All right. Then we'll add in polished anisite uh, stairs, three blocks long here, and then we'll add in this smooth quartz stairs, and that's gonna be right underneath the doorway, which this is supposed to be. And we'll add in uh, polished andesite stairs across the rest of it. And we're gonna do the same thing in the back, add in three of these andesite stairs, smooth 
uh, quartz stairs, and then anisite for the rest. So it looks like this. All right. All right, now we're going to go to the back, add in two blocks tall, black concrete, skip two, and then add another two here. And I'm going to add it on the other side of this doorway. Go to the other side and pretty much do the same thing, except the one in the front. We're going to leave that alone for now. All right, now we're going to delete this one here in the front, and we're going to move it inside like that. Then we'll add in an iron trap door on the outside part of it. And then nether brick stairs, two blocks tall like that, so they are facing each other upside down and right side up. And then nether brick slabs cross, so this is going to be like a 1.5 wide window, like so. Then we'll move up over here to the back. And we'll do the same thing, just the other direction, the stairs and the slabs like that. All right, then we'll go uh, across to the back section, we'll add in this stone block three blocks tall like that then in the middle area we'll add in a polish and a site block with polish and site stairs like that two blocks tall all right so now we're to go down here and we're gonna make this black concrete into a two by two like so go on the other side here make that a two by two as well then we'll go to the back again and we'll add in this pattern. There's going to be like three windows. So that's just basically uh, nether brick stairs and slabs like that. That's one window. I'm going to make the second window, third window like that, and then a two by two black concrete. Now we're going to skip two blocks and then add in another two by two black concrete. All right, so then we'll go back over here. And uh, we're going to extend this stone brick all the way across the underside of this. And then we'll add in uh, two anisite walls like that. All right, then we're going to add in the stone brick blocks all the way across to the front section. And we're going to copy these um, windows again. We're going to make three of these stairs and slab windows. They're all going to be facing the same direction, like so, so that they're equidistant. And now, right above all of these uh, doorways, we're going to add in these uh, polished anisite stairs. I'm trying to make an X shape, um, like so. And then on the inside part of this, we're going to add in polished anisite. Then a 2x2 two two gray concrete, like so. And uh, we're going to add the same um, door design to all three of them. And also, we're going to fill in the inside of these windows with gray concrete as well. All right, so once all that's been filled in, we're gonna go across the bottom edge, add in this polished anisite stairs all the way across the side. Then on the very top, we'll go to the edge, and we'll add in these two um, smooth stone slabs like that. Then we'll add in an iron trap door, and then go on the other side in the front and do the same thing on this edge, which we don't have yet, so we're gonna build it. Just two smooth stone slabs and then an iron trap door right there on the edge. Underneath we'll add in uh, polished anisite stairs. And then for this one I use iron trap door. Uh, but unfortunately you probably can't use iron trap door uh, because you're using vanilla without world edit. So instead we're gonna use birch trap door. It's gonna have like a virtually the same effect that we want. So we're gonna add these two trap doors like so. And we're also gonna add in these uh, banners. Now, there's actually two or maybe three banners if you include this side. Uh, but on the bottom one, we're going to add in a uh, light gray banner like that, while on the top part, it has sort of like this black line column on the left hand side. So, we're going to build these two banners, take out a black die and the light gray banner in our loom. Uh, we're just going to make it go across the left hand side, and that's how you get it. You could just do the same thing for the other side. And now we have that black uh, line here, so it kind of like makes it look like it's connected to this window. And then we can fill this in with uh, gray uh, concrete, so it's filled in. Now for uh, the rest, we're going to add in uh, this nether brick stairs. Like this, we want to make an X shape. And this is going to be like the center, um, I guess, door. And then we'll add in acacia sign right there in the middle 
with a birch sign on the side, right in front of this birch uh, sign. And the way you can place it, you can just crouch in midair. Then we'll add in a black stained glass pane next to this quartz slab and an open dark oak fence gate right to the side of it. And um, most of these features right over here with the buttons sticking to the slabs and the stairs, that's going to require world edit. So you can't do that unless you want to put an item frame with a block inside of it if you really wanted it. Anyways, uh, next up, let's go over here to the side. We'll add in a dark oak trap door and then iron trap door and then dark oak trap door again and then two iron trap doors and then dark oak trap door then we're going to go to the side of this uh, door I just added in two dark oak trap doors on this side and then the next one two here and then we'll add one in the back and then we're going to fill in the space in between with iron trap doors all the way across this side here all right, and then we'll add in um, birch button and then stone button. So add in birch button right next to this door and then stone button on the other side. Birch button on this door, then birch and stone in the back. So we have this pattern. Now the middle of the roof, we're going to fill that in with polish and andesite <laughs> slabs and this is going to go all the way across to the other side. All right, once we have that, we're going to make this pattern across the sides using uh, acacia sign, birch sign, and spruce sign. So we're going to start in the front. Go right here. Acacia, then birch. And then we're going to add birch, spruce, and then acacia, and then birch, spruce, acacia, birch, spruce. Acacia. And once you have this nice pattern, we're going to keep making this pattern right over here. And the pattern in the back, that's going to be the same thing, just birch, spruce, acacia. Birch, spruce, acacia. Just get that in your head. And you would just build the rest of the stripes. All right, so once we have that, let's make the bogey in the back. So it's the same thing as the front one. We just skip three blocks here. Add in a gray terracotta. Skip two blocks. Add another one. Uh, another brick walls in between dark oak fence gates on the side and dark oak buttons inside the, the wheel inside parts just like four blocks wide of this nether brick slab like that all right so once we have this it should be um pretty much good to go uh what we're going to do now we're going to copy what we did on this side to the other side all right so now that we have both sides all we have to do is the bottom so let's go down here we're going to add in two nether brick slabs in front of the bogey here Skip a block, add another one, and then a brick slab. Then we're going to skip four blocks. Then we'll add in a stone brick slab. And then two nether brick slabs, skip a block, two more, and then stone brick slabs on the front and the back of that. Now we're going to go to the other side. All right, on this side, we'll go over here, and we'll add in a smooth stone slab right behind the wheel, uh, nether brick slab. Skip a block, two nether brick slabs, and then skip two blocks, and then we'll add in iron trap door, two blocks long like that. And then we'll skip four blocks and add in stone brick slab, skip two blocks, stone brick slab again like that. All right, so once you've done that, that is pretty much it on how to build the Marta Hitachi CQ311 or 311. As again, thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissions built making this video possible. Again, if you want to make the lights, you can just add in an item frame with the block inside if you really wanted it. But I think it looks fine just without it. And for the rest of the cars, it's pretty much the same car. You just rotate it 180 degrees and build it on the other side like this. But anyways, remember to hit that like button down below. And if you're new here, subscribe if you had not already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one.